Matt Stepp, Dave Campbell's Texas Football here in Pasadena, Texas, here with the head coach of the South Houston Trojans, Woo! Coach Patrick Longstreet, after a 54-40 win over Memorial. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Appreciate it so much. Uh, tough, hard game against a great opponent, big rival of ours. Uh, schools are really close, so we knew they were going to play hard, and uh, we were able to get the win tonight. How, how do you handle that? You know, because you know the kids know each other, the communities know each other. There's always a lot of emotion. You, you want to go out and beat your neighbor, that kind of thing. How do you how do you handle playing hard and playing physical, but but keeping everything under control? So we actually share a middle school with those guys. So a lot of those guys went to middle school together. Uh, we hadn't beaten them since 2014. Uh, when stuff like that happens, it still comes down to X's and O's. It still comes down to execution, and uh, we made a lot of mistakes, but we were able to overcome. Me, your offensive playmakers, a lot of balanced effort, a lot of guys made big plays today. Um, but I mean, your offensive line, I thought, did a really good job allowing your quarterback to make plays and kind of let, letting your backs kind of get out in space. Talk about the job those guys did tonight. Oh, they did a great job. There's four seniors in that front. Uh, we kind of struggled the last couple of weeks playing some, some really big boys, some really tough opponents, uh, and they were able to uh, really hold up up front and, and allow our playmakers to make plays. Defensively, I know their quarterback's a challenge because he's a, he's a big kid. He's tough to tackle, and he keeps his head up and, and makes plays. Uh, it looked like in the fourth quarter, you kind of started to box him in a little bit and kind of turned him over a little bit and kept him contained. Was there any, any adjustment that you guys made, or do you feel like you kind of wore them down a little bit? Uh, I think a little bit of the wearing down, but we just didn't tackle in the first half. We were trying to sling him like he was a uh, 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 180 pound kid, right? And he's about 240, right? Yeah, we're trying to sling him like he was 5'8, 160 pounds, and he's 240, and uh, we, weren't, we weren't bringing our legs with us. So we, we tackled a lot better in the fourth quarter. All right, now final question for you. You got a big one coming up against Dobie. I think that's next week, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, that, that's obviously for a, for a, probably for a playoff spot, I mean, in, in all likelihood. Yes, uh, you, you had to take care of business tonight. Now that you look ahead to Dobie, uh, we're not going to ask you to give away your game plan, but I know you've watched them a little bit. What kind of team can you, can you your fans, expect to see uh, as your opponent next week? Uh, Dobie's a hard, hard, hard-nosed football team. They run the ball really well. Wing T offense. Coach Bernithi does a great job over there. Uh, we're gonna do what we do. We're gonna make, get the ball to our playmakers, let them make plays. Uh, hopefully, contain them in their run game and, and uh, try to make more plays. Wing T offense. Have you seen any of those this year? No, but Coach Bernithi is from Angleton. I'm from Rosenberg. We did. We we battled each other for for eight years in those districts. So. Uh, we're used to it. Okay, there you go. Well, Coach, enjoy the win. You'll worry about Dobie uh, tomorrow night. Enjoy it for a little while, and uh, hopefully we'll see you come playoff time. Thank you much. Go Trojans.